Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It is the 1st of June in the year 2020, and it's 50 degrees, because that's the new normal. Well, that's the grand solar minimum. No, dude, it's geoengineering, okay? They've been spraying the skies for a decade that I can attest to and show video of, and it's messing up the weather. But you know what? I guess today the weather is the least of our issues because everything is literally moving forward. The agenda has gone to the proverbial second wave. But before I start this video, I want to apologize to Russian Vids because he reached out to me and said, dude, I never called you a fraud whatsoever at all. It was somebody else. And I apologized to him by saying, dude, I saw it in the comments and like 15 people had sent me emails saying the same thing, so I apologize as well. Apparently, certain people are trying to divide the truth community even more than it already is, but I never had an issue with Russian vids and apparently he's never had an issue with me, so there's that. Second, the food shortage will be after the riots. Order this now. Even if it doesn't come in three days, it'll be inbound. They are without a doubt going to stop the food production and other people have already started making videos on it, which are phenomenal. So understand that and know that. Check out this video that I did on April 11th, okay? Because it plays. Up YouTube, it's Richie from Boston. It's the 11th, it's April, it's 2020. I apologize for making so many videos, but the information in the takeover of the United States is escalating once again. Now... Mike Decker and I noticed that a couple of days ago, suddenly police were suddenly getting caught on social media, beating people down, dragging them off buses, giving them fines. And it appears that they're targeting anyone that's trying to go to church, even though it is Good Friday, Easter. Most people want to go to church. They don't get it. Whatever. But when the states started locking down a few weeks ago, because we're coming up on a month here, Friday the 13th, Trump shut the country down. We're coming up on a month and people are still basically sitting quietly in their homes thinking everything's going to be fine and they still don't see what's happening. Well, after a month passing, those military assets that I've been showing you traveling all over the United States are now in place. So stage two has begun. A couple few days ago, the police have been recorded everywhere beating the shit out of people for not social distancing, for not doing this, not doing that. It's getting crazy. But the thing is, is they want people to respond because Americans are basically sitting home like children waiting to be let outside with all sorts of conditions. America is over. And if you don't stand up right now, you're going to die like a quivering, shivering coward in your house. And if this video right here doesn't prove that to you, there's no hope. Unsubscribe and walk away. My channel will be gone very shortly anyways, I would suspect. But check this out. Seen a dad for throwing a ball to his daughter. It was a former city council member who could not believe what he was recording. In a park of about, I don't know, 30, 40 acres. Okay, do you remember that? Because YouTube took it right down. All I was showing you that was that after making everybody go in their house, showing them all these scary stories about COVID and coronavirus and the Wuhan virus and this, that, and the other thing, they started dropping the hammer on people that had the audacity to not listen to their rules. The problem is, is they need people to riot. Do you see what I'm saying? And people were too afraid because of the COVID scare. Well, they figured out another method. And it's the same method they use every single solitary time. It's nothing new. And this is how they did it. No matter what, if these two guys work together, it doesn't matter if these guys are all actors. This is what they pulled out of their hat to set it off. Now, since that's happened, no matter what it was, no matter what it was, whether these guys were crisis actors, whatever, this is what they presented to the public, and then this is what the result has been. This is the quid pro quo. Look at the Drudge Report, doing their part to spread the propaganda. Burn in the USA, historic tumult, the world is alarmed. Look at this. Trump has gone into his bunker. That's total bullshit, but whatever. Secret Service agents have clashed outside the White House. Police officers are getting their necks slit and blah, 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 blah. 
But check this out, because this video will not stop coming through. The mainstream is now showing the same video that I was showing you weeks ago, that military assets are absolutely all over the United States and in place, and have been. Absolutely have been. The troops have been ready to go. They just weren't exactly sure, probably, of what they were ready to go for. Notice this large black pen over here. Yeah, that'll be the super happy fun pen that these white vans scoop you up and bring you to. But the funny thing about this is, what good's a riot if you don't have something to keep it going? Do you see what I'm saying? Well, we've got plenty of video like this. Like, that's insane. Cops pushing people around like that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's bad enough that they already killed people, but check this out. Y'all know where bro. we at. They're going to set them on right up on the route. Y'all yeah, know what building this is Come right here. Now. I ain't even going to say what name it is. Hey, where do them bricks go to? Where do them this bricks is set go up. to? Where you literally have places where bricks are being supplied. And if the if the cops aren't running somebody over, beating somebody up, or shooting somebody on camera, there's an agent provocateur there with an umbrella, smashing windows, et cetera, et cetera. Listen to this. Look at this. They just keep coming. Go oh, oh, inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get in your house now! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, inside. Get in the house! <laughs> So you're standing in your doorway in America and the cops just stop and light you up? I'll tell you what, if they did that to my father, to my neighbor, to my stepmother, to anybody I know, it would be on. And that's exactly what they're trying to get people to do right now. Do you see what I'm saying? Because this video imagery will not stop. Allegedly, this entire turn of events was started by the police kneeling on a man till he died. Out of all the videos that have been taken down on my YouTube channels, I mean, look at this. Copyright strike. Age restricted. Copyright claim. Copyright claim. Copyright claim. Video's been removed, 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 removed. I mean, look at this. Out of all of these videos, you're telling me the one where a police officer, the one where a human is murdering another human stays up on my channel all as well. Nothing to see here, folks. They are going to force America's hand, period. They couldn't get you to stand up for yourself when they scared you with that spooky story about COVID-19, which was complete and total bullshit, which at this point right now, people should be going, hey, they completely destroyed our economy, disrupted the entire food supply chain that the same people that disrupted us with the COVID-19 own, look into that or don't. Now they're going to cause a riot. And exactly like every other time, it's a race riot. But every single time we turn around, they're killing or running over people or they're setting it up or we're catching police or military assets dressed up as protesters breaking stuff. What do we do here? I don't exactly know. But do you want to live in a country where this is acceptable? Look at this. They just keep coming. Get inside! Get in your house now! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, inside. Get in the house! Ah. Get in really? 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 Go inside now? The only reason they can do that is because nobody's actually returning fire. But that's what they're trying to get. We're in a, we're in a serious catch-22 here, people. But here's the deal. This land is your land. This land is my land. We have a God-given right to be here. These people are going to take this over, and they're going to continue to force our hand until people finally stand up and do something. Chasing police cars around, chanting things, and holding cell phones up isn't quite going to do it. Robbing stores, that doesn't make any sense at all in any way. But allowing these people to continue to pull this off, we got to take a stand at some point.
That is totally unacceptable behavior. Every time we turn around, there's another video popping up of police doing the same thing that started this entire thing in the first place. So what do we do? It's either we live under their rules or we stand up and fight back. The problem is too many people are going, well, that black guy deserved what... Let's not call him a black guy anymore. The dude that was on the ground that got killed, whether that was real or not, I watched the entire video five separate times. I've seen people numerous times in this lifetime die, leave this mortal coil. And that's exactly what he looked like. Whether he was a porn star, whether he worked with the cop that was kneeling on it, I don't care. I just don't care. Where we're at right now, that is the problem. And this, these abuses are going to continue to get worse and worse and worse. If that light them up, those cops stop and just start shooting people standing in their doors, I guarantee you they wouldn't have done that if people started shooting back. And that is where it's going to have to go. It's, it's the only, it's, they're going to force this. Unless you're going to get into a make-believe Elon Musk spaceship and fly off into, into the firmament, I don't know what else to tell you. But I will tell you this. Get ready. Order it. Because food is going to be the next card they pull. Period. At any rate, Richie from Boston. This is just getting insane. I'm out.